that time again for us to gather around and marvel at the gifts of our own. Though they don't come wrapped in a box, they do come filled with awe and wonder. Our Christmas extravaganza is sure to delight and stir up feelings of joy and hope. So grab your family, a blanket, and a cup of your favorite holiday drink and enjoy the 2021 Bethel's Christmas Spectacular. Christmas cheer. We decorate our trees, light up our houses, and we listen to carols, all while binging on Hallmark Christmas movies. There's something different floating around, a little bit of magic in the air. With all the lights and bows and holiday cheer, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and Santa is certainly near. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's listening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be on your road
of St. Nick. He's a jolly old man. But there's another who is better, the one who's all of our number one fan. Whether an uncle or a papa, a daddy or a grandpa, the man in our lives are our very own St. Nick, the ones who catches us when we trip, the ones who's always full of tips, the one who always comes quick. I love Papa because he is kind and brave and he helps me on my homework. What I love about my dad is he protects me every day and keeps me safe and he works very hard in the army. I love you, Daddy. Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be Are y'all ready for a story? Yeah! yeah. All right. Was the night before Christmas in all the rooms. The children were sleeping. 
when there came a loud boom, they dared not move to explore the sound, for they knew it would be bad if they were found. The hoofs came patting, and the jingles rang from the bell. They knew he was near for his hooky smell. They hurried back to sleep, for they knew what was happening now. He was here at their house. He is coming. <laughs> bring our soul we know the holiday season was made for so much more for there is one who was born in a lowly little stable he came to deliver and free us and to tell us that God is able he didn't come under the best circumstances and things were in a little disarray but his arrival is what we needed what we needed to live another day. Isaiah 7, 11 tells us to ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be in the depths below or in the heights above. At this time, on this day, we say, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Bells all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is that song with joyful ring. All caroling, one seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, feeling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound. Oh, hill and dale, telling the tale. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. 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 
sound or hear them tell telling that tell. Yeah, they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. to an unmarried girl named Mary living in Nazareth, a village in Galilee. She was engaged to a man named Joseph, a true descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Rejoice, beloved young woman, for the Lord is with you and you are anointed with great favor. Mary was deeply troubled over the words of the angel and wondered over what this may mean for her. But the angel reassured her, saying, Do not be afraid, Mary, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. You will become pregnant with a baby boy, and you are to name him Jesus. He will be supreme and will be known as the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will enthrone him as king on the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign as king of Israel forever, and his reign will have no limit. Mary said, But how can this happen? I am still a virgin. Gabriel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. But there is more. Your aged auntie Elizabeth has also become pregnant with the son. The barren one is now in her sixth month. Not one promise from God is empty of power. Nothing is impossible with God. Then Mary responded saying, Yes, I will be a mother for the Lord. As his servant, I accept whatever he has for me. May everything you have told me come to pass. And the angel left her. Mary. 
Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy come to make you new? And the child that you delivered will deliver you. Oh, Mary, did you know? The deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy was Lord of all creation? Did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? And the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Look! The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awake from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took Mary as his wife. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, the city of David called Bethlehem. While they were there, the time came for Mary to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. Beneath 
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was so frightened, he called together all the chief priests and scribes of all the people and asked them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, From you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. They sent him to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel and multitude of the heavenly host praying God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds were told. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Did you hear it? Did you see it? He is here. 
He has arrived. The Savior has come and we shall be free. Let us rejoice. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. Heaven and nature, heaven and nature, sing. Everybody sing to the Lord. Let us Let every heart prepare him room. to come and save us all. We invite you now to join us in one voice in unity. We invite you now to join us to celebrate and rejoice. We invite you now to come, all ye faithful, with all your joy, with all the triumph, and let us celebrate the new coming King. <laughs> 